it's your favorite binder here, Sarah Mine XXXX, and today I'm going to be showing you a cool, easy way to make thumbnails. Um, the way this is the way I do it, and it's also the way I learned to do it. Actually, I learned to do it from a guy on YouTube called Zyovo, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, but he's really amazing, he's got really good tips on YouTube. So, yeah, that's where I got the idea from. So, thank you, Zyovo. It's really good tutorial. So what we're going to do is go to a site called Pixlr and you don't really need to log in whatsoever but all you have to do is scroll down here and say launch web app and what we're going to do is say create new image and we want it to be 1280 eh, try trying to get it eh, come on 1280 by 720 okay and you you can have it transparent but I don't really care if it is or not and then what you want to do is go search like in Google like background you could do cool things and actually I need to shrink this so I need to um, put this on my desktop well it's not my computer but I'm going to put this on my desktop, and what you want to do is also go and find something like, um, uh, let's say maybe a emoji or something, or just like a thing you could put on your, um, blah blah blah, thumbnail, and it has to be a PNG, so if it helps, search PNG because it's easier that way because it has a transparent background and you can see we have all these like different emojis that mainly Apple uses but see we have all these emojis that you can use and you don't have to specifically use emojis this is just like the idea I've thought of on the spot but yeah so let's use this guy he's pretty happy and now, let's go back into Pixlr. Oh wait, I just thought of something. I just literally thought of something. The image you have must be bigger than, must be bigger or has to be as big as 1280 by 720 so it can fit your thing. So what you want to go to here is say, click file and then say open image. And then it's going to open you here and then you can open this. Okay, that sucks. Never mind. Need to find a new background. Uh, why don't we do this one? It's the other one. It says it was bigger, but no, it not. But yeah. Anyways, go to file, open image, click the image you want, and then it should open. Oh my God, this is huge, but. What you want to do is control A. It might have to click it a few times, but it's going to say select all, and then control C, copy, and then go back here. I do not like that circle, and then click control V. And you can move it around, of course, but you can also go into edit and click free transform and shrink it however you want it to look which is probably going to be easier if you have such a big background like this. So then you're going to say yes, apply the changes, and then we can pretty much just close out of this one. No. Next, we want to open our emoji. So, yeah, let's just, um, control A, control C, control C, control C. <sighs> Sometimes it takes a while, control V. Okay, so what we want to do is move this guy to where we want, we would like him, and I would like him a little smaller, so let's turn him into a smaller emoji, like this, and say yes, I want to apply the changes, and we can move him up here, and this is what we have so far. So now what we want to do is add some text, and so you just go down here by clicking the text box, and you can click anywhere and say how 
I'm just gonna say this because how to make a thumbnail. Uh, and then you can also change the font, but to see the font, I need to change the color. So we're gonna change it to this color. And you can also change the size. Uh, and you can move it around, which is pretty useful when you're making thumbnails and stuff like this. So, yeah. Now what we want to do is choose an awesome font. Uh, and it has to be a good font because otherwise it's just going to look weird. I like it. I don't um, mean anything bad about Pixlr, but sometimes I have a hard time finding like the best fonts to use on Pixlr. So I try my best. But it's kind of hard to find a, the perfect font, so we'll just use this one. So yeah, you can move it around to however you want it. And right now, we're pretty much done. So you have your emoji, your background, and then your text. At least click OK. And what you want to go up here is, uh, say, save. And then you can title it, like, let's see thumbnail because I'm weird like that and I usually just make it a JPEG I mean PNG and then you just click OK but of course I have a Mac and it does this to me and we could just do that and then now we have our image saved and that's pretty much all it takes so if you did enjoy please do leave a sky high thumbs up that would be greatly appreciated and also if this happens to be the first video you see by me please do consider subscribing to become a serial miner today or Lucky Charm, whatever you want to call yourselves, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!